Watch you guys got another video on how to disable Windows Recall on a Copilot Plus PC. Now we'll also be disabled in Copilot as well in this video, but if you're looking at something like this on your computer, where it says privacy and security, recall and snapshots, this is the actual recall application that is on Windows. And it's gonna be taking snapshots every three seconds. And you can delete all of your snapshots right here, and you can turn this feature off and it will be off by default, as Microsoft have said. But the problem is it can be quite easily toggled back on or accidentally turned on. So I'm going to show you how to completely disable it and stop it from running and stopping people turning it on accidentally. And I'll show you how to do that in this video. It's pretty straightforward and easy to do. So follow along if you don't want to be part of Microsoft's data harvesting uh, program and turn all of this stuff off because personally I have no use for this and I don't think anyone else does. But before we do any of that, let's have a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking for a cheap Windows 11 Pro or cheap Windows 10 Pro OEM key, then check out the links in the video description. Use my promo code capital B capital R09 and apply that to your order and get a 30% discount on your purchases then you can activate your version of windows using the key that they send you it's that simple anyway let's move on with the actual video on how to do it so what you need to do here is first off we'll do the registry edit mode and this is if you're on windows uh, 11 home version so open up the registry editor you can also do this on windows pro or above versions as well uh, but we're just going to be assuming that you're on a home version and you want to do it via the actual registry so from here, it's always important to back up your registry or make a restore point before you do any changes to the registry. So first off, we're going to go to HKey current user, and this is the first location we're going to go to, then software, then we're going to go down to where it says policies, and then open up policies, and then go to Microsoft, then open up uh, Windows, open up the Windows folder, and then we want to right click on Windows and create a new key called Windows AI. If it's there already, then you can use that. But if it's not, then create a new key called Windows AI, just as I'm showing you right here. Once you've got that uh, key created or that folder created, we can then move on to the right hand pane here and create a new D Word 32 bit value key. So let's go ahead and do that. Right click, go new, D Word 32 bit value, click on this one. And now we need to give this a name. So we're going to be calling this disable and we want to be calling this AI and we want to call this data analysis, just like so. Once you've got that done, so now once this is done, we can then double click on this key and open it and give it a value. So we need to give this a value of one to disable uh, the uh, AI data analysis. So let's go ahead and give it a value uh, data of one okay this one and remember we're in the actual current user section here we can also do this for the local machine so let's go ahead and do that right now so we need to go now down to where it says h key local machine and we need to navigate to the same location but in the machine part of it so let's go to h key local machine software then come all the way down here to where it says policies open this one up then microsoft and then open this one up here and we're going to go down to where it says windows here open this up and we need to put a new key inside here called windows ai and once we create a new key we can do the same thing inside this section so let's go ahead and look for it here it's not inside here so i'm going to create a new key inside the windows one here by right clicking new key call it windows ai just as you see right here with the capital letters then on the right hand pane here, we need to create a new D word 32 bit value key. So let's go ahead and do that. And now we can call this uh, the actual disable AI data analysis, just like we did before. I'm going to double click on this and we're also going to make that a value of one. And that's now disabled. So recall will not work and it will not be able to run or harvest data or show uh, images of what you've been doing on your computer it won't be stored there so you can delete all that information as well on there which i'd advise you to do before you create any of this uh, particular stuff if you had windows recall working before you set this off you might want to delete all of that content first 
So let's go ahead and open up the start button here. And if you're on Windows 11 Pro, you can use Group Policy Editor. And we're going to open up the Group Policy Editor by typing uh, GP Edit inside the search or GPO. And now once we've got this open, this is our local Group Policy Editor. From here, we're going to go to User Configuration and Administrative Templates. Open this one up here and go down to where it says Windows Components. Open this one up and what we're looking for here is the Windows AI section right here. And you can see turn off saving snapshots on Windows. Double click on this one right here and we need to enable this feature. Once we enable it, it will say if you enable this policy setting, Windows will not be able to save snapshots and users won't be able to search for or browse through the historical device activity recall section, which means all of the stuff that has been saving or snapshots that it's been doing, it will not be able to happen. People won't be able to see it and it will be removed and disabled. Now I'm just checking here to see whether it's under the machine section here and to see whether the Windows AI section is here. I think it's just for user accounts. So we're just going to go through here and just check and it's not listed here. So we can't do a policy inside Group Policy Editor uh, for it inside the local machine. It's just for the uh, user account. That's okay. It's going to be completely disabled anyway, and we won't have to worry about that. So you don't have to do that section if you've done the registry edit. Uh, you just need to do the registry, registry editor, or you can do the group policy editor. You don't need to do both. So let's go now and open up the registry editor, and we'll deal with uh, the copilot section because a lot of people don't want copilot either. And if you don't want that, then navigate to this location right here. And we're going to go H key local machine software, then go down to policies, then Microsoft, then Windows. And once we get down to Windows, we will be able to disable the Windows Copilot section. So let's go into Windows here, right there, open this up. And what we need to do is come down until we find uh, Windows Copilot. So we've got Windows AI here. So what we need to do here is we need to uh, do the Copilot section. So the same thing before, inside the Windows part here, right click, go new, key, and call this uh, Windows Copilot. So let's go ahead and rename this, and we're going to call this Windows and Copilot. It's that simple. Once we've got this set, if it's there, you don't need to create this, but if it's not there, then create it just like I just showed you right here. Once we've got that created, on the right-hand pane here, we're going to add a new D word 32 bit value key. So let's go ahead and do that right here. And now we need to put in the actual key name. So we're going to call this one turn off Windows Copilot, just like so. And this will then basically turn off Windows Copilot. So double click on this one and give this a value of one. Click OK. And that is now dealt with. We've got Copilot off as well. So now that's done, that's on the local machine section. We can do the H key current user section as well by going H key current user, software, policies, then Microsoft, open that one up, then go Windows, come down here, and you can already see Windows Copilot is there. So we're going to use that one. If it's not, then create it. And we're going to go ahead and D word 32 bit value key again. And again, we're going to be calling that exactly the same thing as before. Turn off Windows Copilot, just like so. And let me just go ahead and do that. There we go. And to give this a value of one as well. Once we get that value of one, Windows Copilot will not function and it will be turned off. And you can uninstall it as well if you want to. Uh, but that's now done. And that's the Windows Copilot section. Now, there is a button that is on there. And if you want to remove the button, you can do. So let me just quickly show you how to remove the button or hide the button uh, inside the registry as well. So from the registry editor here, what we need to do here is we're going to navigate to H key current user, come down to where it says Microsoft. So let's go into uh, Microsoft here, open this up, then go Windows, open Windows up then current version. Inside current version, we're going to open this up. And inside the Explorer area here, we need to call this a folder advanced. So let's go ahead and add a folder in here or key 
and call it advanced. There's not one here, so I'm going to right click on this and we're going to name this advanced. So let's go ahead and right click, new, key, call it advanced. And then all we need to do here is once we type this out, we can basically put inside on the right hand pane here, we give this a new D word 32 bit value key on the right hand side here. So let's go ahead, do that new D word 32 bit value. And what we need to do here is we need to give this a name called show copilot button. And once we've done that, we can leave that value as zero and that will hide the copilot button. So I'm going to leave the value as zero. If you want to show the copilot button, then obviously you would give that a value of uh, one. So that is the copilot button now disabled or the button on the uh, taskbar that will now be disabled if you leave that as zero. If you want to reverse it or remove that key, you can do. It's entirely up to you. But once that's done, what we can do now is go into the group policy editor and disable copilot from there. Now I have shown this before, but I wanted to add this in because obviously Copilot and also Recall, I can do it in one video. So let's open up the group policy editor and uh, we'll disable that feature inside here. So what we're going to do is open this up and we're going to go up to where it says HK current user and we're going to open this one up right here. Go down to administrative templates, open that one up and we're going to go down to Windows Components. And once we open Windows Components up, it will be listed inside there called a uh, Copilot. Uh, let's come down here. It should be around here somewhere. There it is. And we can now turn off Windows Copilot right here. Again, you don't have to do both of these if you've done the registry. You can leave that as is. But if you want to do it inside group policy, you can do, and that's now done. And that is pretty much it. That's basically how you can disable uh, Copilot and also Copilot Plus and also Windows Recall on Windows 11. So if you've got a Windows 11 uh, Copilot Plus compatible PC which has Recall on it, that's how you disable it. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.